How's it going, everybody? Welcome back. My name is Nick. I also go by Golden Guy, and I am your coach of the Philadelphia Pincers. Coming back to you with another YCL Draft League matchup. This is for week three of season eight. And we are taking on Coach Jeremy and his Springfield Starmies. And yeah, um, if you haven't gone and watched the previous two weeks, please go ahead and go watch. Also, while you're doing that, subscribe to the channel, like the vids, comment if you want to. It's always fun to interact with the uh, supporters. But go back and watch those videos if you haven't already, because I'm about to spoil them. And three, two, one. We are 2-0, baby! Plus 9 differential. We're sitting at the top of the league at the moment, which, I mean, the league is pretty stacked, so I don't envision staying there for very long. Um, but it does feel good to have gotten 2 wins in 2 weeks and have a plus 9 differential. So yeah, we're going to hope to roll, keep rolling on that train. Um, however... We do have our work cut out for us this week as we are taking on uh, Jeremy Springfield Sarmies and his team is absolutely insane. Absolutely insane. Yeah, I mean, I watched his first match. He plays, he analyzes, he does well. So I look forward to battling this man and to go over our teams right quick. Um... Yeah, as always, my team is the one on the left, his team's the one on the right, and he's rocking that Iron Treads, Sylveon, Greninja, which can be Protean, can be Torrent if it wants to, can even be Battle Bond. It's absolutely insane. Uh, Rotom Mo, Oracorio, and Cyclozar are both of his uh, Terra captains. Remember, this is a free Terra League. Toxapex is there. I just faced a Toxapex in another league last night, and let me tell you, it was absolutely brutal. Ended up winning my opponent in the game. He's got his Spathro, which is always a threat that we have to respect. Slitherwing, definitely a threat that we have to respect. Uh, Morgrim, Pincurchin, and Vespaquen. That's what its name is. Um, Iron Treads. Y'all saw last week, we went up against Great Tusk, one of the best rapid spinners, best knockoff users in this format. Well, Iron Treads is right up there with it. If it's not, the top one is probably number two, in my opinion. And it does pretty much pretty similar things. I don't think it's as bulky in the HP department, but it has high, a higher speed stat, which we've taken into account for our team that we have today. Sylveon, you know what it does. Wish, Protect, Hyper Voice, Baton Pass Out, um, could run Spec Set. That could be something that might catch us off guard. But yeah, you know what it does. You've seen it all the time. Greninja. It's fast. It hits hard. Could be Protean. Could be Battle Bond. I, obviously, the two abilities I expect it to have if it comes to this matchup. It is his dark Pokemon on the team, so we do have to keep that in mind. No, he also has Morgrim, but eh. Rotom Mo does Rotom things. This one is a little bit more offensive. Tech, it has the same stats, right? But it tends to be ran a little more offensive than the Rotom Wash and the Rotom Heat variants. Uh, this one, probably a Volt Switch Choice Scarf set, maybe? With Leaf Storm for maybe Slowbro. This thing does uh, wall Slowbro decently well. Could also throw off some Thunder Waves or Will-O-Wisp, as Rotom Wash or even Rotom Heat like to do. Um, next up is Oracorio, and it is the Fire Flying uh, variant, so the Bile version. However, this is a Terra Captain. It can be any Terra that it wants, and Oracorio is a monster Terra Captain. So we definitely have to be on our best behavior and always looking out for what's about to come at us. Cyclozar. He used this as his Terra Captain with a setup set in week one. It was a shift gear set, um, and I don't recall the exact the exact Terra that it was, but it worked. It worked and it ended up getting him the win. It also has access to Regenerator. But one thing we do have to keep in mind is that it cannot use Shed Tell in this uh, Draft League. So we don't have to worry about it 
Chateling out, setting up a sub or something else to come in. That's pretty good. Toxapex, the always a nuisance Pokemon. Very bulky. Access to things like Haze, uh, Baneful Bunker, Toxic Spikes, Toxic, so on and so forth. If that comes, it's coming to probably get a Toxic off on the bulk of my team, pun intended. Those things being like the Slowbro, Colossal, Toadscroll, Blissey, so on and so forth. Espathra, we can see sub setup with speed boost. Uh, we did not bring a dark type this week, so it could come back to bite us. However, I think we'll be fine. Um, we could see a, just a Lumina Crash variant with Roost, just trying to do as much damage as possible, like a Choice Scarf, a uh, Choice Vex type set, maybe even Leftover, something along those lines. Slitherwing. Oh, such a powerful first impression. And yeah, it's just, it just hits hard. And maybe we have to... I don't... We have Slowbro and Toadscrew in the squad this week that are going to be weak to that first impression, but nothing really wants to take it. And we're just going to have to play around it as best we can. Morgrim does pretty much the similar things that uh, Grimmsnarl does, which means it sets up screens, can parting shot around. That's pretty much all it does. I don't really anticipate it to come at all. Pincurchin is his electric terrain setter for the Iron Treads. It also has access to spikes, toxic spikes, um, and can just be an overall nuisance whether it wants to be bulky or offensive. If it comes, we do have to worry about whether or not it's carrying liquidation or surf, because that can potentially kill our Colossal. And Toad's cool. And then Vespaquen, it's a defogger on his squad. Um, I don't really anticipate it to come yet, but in it does defog things. I, other than that, I really don't know what it does. Um, but yeah, as for that, the six that I anticipate my opponent to bring are going to be that Iron Treads, the Cyclozar, Sylveon, Rotomo, uh, Greninja, probably Protean variant, and then Slitherwing. Espathor can come, or Corio can come, Toxapex can come. Pencurchin can come. I don't really anticipate the Morgrim to come or the Vespaquen. And but yeah, I think this is probably one of the matchups of the season where I get the most wrong on team preview, and I'm okay with that. But as for my team, we are bringing what you see right down below me, and that's going to be Colossal, Toad's Cruel, Slowbro, Zapdos, Magnezone and Dragapult. So let me go over the squad real quick. Colossal's Rock and Power Gem, Flamethrower, Terror Blast, and Rapid Spin with Heavy Duty Boots. It's an offensive Colossal, but it's got a lot of bulk in it as well. When it's Terra Flying. This hits pretty much everything on his team super effectively and allows me to live hits in return, and that's what we're good for. Flame Body is there so that I can take on the Slitherwing a little bit better and hopefully get a burn off on it. And yeah, that's what it's there for. Toad Scroll is rocking that Earth Power, Dazzling Gleam, Protect, and Spore. The Protect is there simply for first impression Slitherwing. Uh, Spore is has a decent matchup outside of Rotomo. And we other than that, we can't really touch Rotomo other than with the Dazzling Gleam. And we're going to try to play around that. Uh, it is a lot of bulk with a decent amount of speed and some in special attack. Then we have Assault Vest Slowbro coming back to you. Uh, same as first week, N not exactly the same set, but we're rocking Surf, Future Sight, Body Press, and Ice Beam. It hits, I think, everything on his team super effectively except for Sylveon. But we're a Slowbro and we're not really staying in on Sylveon to begin with. And that's that. Zapdos. I really wanted to run a Choice Scarf set on this this week, but I didn't want to get locked into a certain move. And then I was like, well, I kind of want Assault Vest on this as well, or even Expert Belt, but I felt like those items belonged better on other mons. So yeah, we're running Sharp Beak because he doesn't have his really, really his only switch-ins to Drill Peck 
are that iron treads, in which case we just thunderous kick it and go about our day. And then we also have trailblaze to set up some speed if we find ourselves in that precarious situation. Magnazone's rocking the expert belt with analytic this week, thunderbolt, flash cannon, body press, and bolt switch. It is set, so normally, Magnazone and Sylveon outspeed each, or er, are on the same speed tier, right? So I have put one less IV into this Magnazone so that I underspeed the Sylveon so I can get that analytic boosted flash cannon on it or Thunderbolt, whatever have you, at that point in time, should he decide that he wants to stay in against my Magnazone. And then last but certainly not least is going to be Choice Specs, Dragapult with the Infiltrator ability. The Infiltrator is going to come in clutch for any screens that he might want to set with Rotom or Morgrum. Maybe even Sylveon if that's a set that comes. And we're rocking Shadow Ball, Dragon Pult, Thunderbolt, and U-Turn. I really wanted to put uh, some kind of hazard on this team. I just didn't. And it was going to be on Toad's Cruel, but... I felt Protect was needed more so than the Hazards were, so that's how we're going to be playing this matchup. Um, I'm going to try to get connected here with Jeremy right quick and get this match on the way. We'll be seeing you soon, guys. Alright, we are connected with my, my guy Jeremy, and we'll see what he brought. Toxapex, Iron Tread, Cyclozar, Slitherwing, so no Rotom. No Rotom Mo, and we got Toxapex instead, and no Sylveon, but we have Espathra instead. Get that moved over. Cool. That'll work. Okay. So Toxapex, Iron Treads, Slitherwing, Cyclozar. Espathra Greninja. I think we lead Toad Scroll here. And we can just go ahead and throw off a spore. Turn one, it looks pretty free. The only time that we can't hit spore first is if we see um if Slitherwing is the first to come out. We are locked in and ready to go. And we're gonna rock that Toad Scroll first. And yeah, we're gonna get this matchup away. Good luck, Jeremy, have fun. Hopefully this is a good matchup, guys. I'm pretty scared. Nyctophobia, Espathra. Okay. I am just going to, I don't want to spore off for it because he could just sub. Um, Earth power is free, so yeah, that's what we're going to go for. U-turn, does decent damage. Earth power is going to hit everything except for this Slitherwing decently well. It'll do about 15%-ish to Slitherwing. And he did outspeed, as Bathra did. Um, so he's got a decent amount of speed on him. That did probably 10-ish percent. We'll see that we are leftovers. Yeah, okay. I do want to see something on this, though. Um, so we are sitting at 147. He's probably just max speed is bad for. I'm going to protect here on this first impression that I do not want to take whatsoever. You turn. Okay. So you're just trying to catch me in a cycle, which is fine. So if we go out into Colossal here on this U-turn,
I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna pull the trigger. And if he goes for a close combat, he goes for a close combat. It'd be pretty upsetting to see a close combat. But we can eventually overcome it as long as it's not choice banned. Fossil comes out. Slitherwing goes for it. It close. Yep, okay. Are you choice? You're not choice banned, though. Do we get a burn? Do we get a burn? Come on, flame body. Dang it. Okay. So that put us down at 61. So it did about 72%, which means if you were not. Okay, I am going to Terra here and go for the Terra Blast. Terra Blast should KO from here. And we do not get KO'd from a, another close combat. If he U turns and he U turns, we're perfectly fine. We still live. And when we can get that close combat comes out, we should live. We live. And Slitherwing's gonna go down to Colossal, baby! Hit the Terror Blast, baby! Yeah! All right, Espathor, or sorry, not Espathor, Slitherwing goes down. So we don't have to worry about that anymore and Colossal takes care of it with a Terra flying baby. Um, probably brings out Gren here. If it is Toxapex, then Grenin. Okay. So, Grand comes out. And I do not want this thing to kill me, especially if it is Battle Bond. So. He can pretty much go for anything that he wants to here. I think my play. I really need to keep Magnazone around. But I have Thunderbolt on Dragon Ball. I'm gonna go into Magnazone. He probably U turns here. It seems like he likes these pivot moves, I guess which means that Iron Treads can have Volt Switch, and so on and so forth. Dark Pulse, and we should... Okay, we take less than half from that, which is cool. So, I don't think it specs. Right. So, it took us down to 94. So, we took 43% from that. Yeah, so that's a timid... Oh, and he's battle... He's definitely battle bond. Okay, so I am just going to I'm gonna body press. He's probably choice scarf. That's probably what it is. As he goes out into iron treads, I am going to body press. Quark drive activates its attack was heightened, okay. Yes! Body press coming in clutch. We did almost 75% to that. So that's fantastic. So he has like, yeah, he has no defense. Um. I'm just going to go out into Slowbro here. Yeah. 
So he is Choice Scarf Battle Bond Greninja. Or did I just miss the Protean? Could have been. He might be choice specs. No, he has to be Scarf. But then he. Yeah, okay, that's still a roll. Okay. So here, I am just going to. Well, body press. Earthquake comes out. We eat this. We body press, and Slowbro picks up the kill on the Iron Treads. Iron Treads is no more. And Slowbro picks up the kill on that. We will need to switch out here. Gren comes out. Likely goes for another Dark Pulse. Oh, I had the wrong thing on. Oops. I wonder if. Uh, Ice Beam would have. Yeah, Ice Beam should have been able to pick up that kill. Unforge. Unforge. Hmm. I'll go into Toad Scroll here. Because I'm not ready to give up Slowbro at all. Slowbro still needs to be around for the Espathra. And he goes for a Dark Bolt. And we eat. Breakfast, lunch, and dinner. He, if he has Ice Beam, this is where he breaks it out. But I do think he is like Scarf or something. Which means that I can hit Spore here. If he's not Scarf, or if he's not Choice Item right now, then Dragapult looks good for the rest of the match. Um, Spore's gonna look good here. Yeah. I, I, okay, so he's not Scarf. That's fine. I am fine about his attack rows, special attack rows, speed rows, oof, okay, is that what Battle Bond does? Okay, that's unfortunate, Greninja into Magnazone, he is, okay. Um, what about into Zapdos? He kills with an Ice Beam. And two Dragapult. Kills with an Ice Beam. Okay. I guess that's where we're at on this. Slowbro. We do survive, I think. That's about 75%. Yeah, we should survive an attack here. I'm gonna try, I'm gonna go for it. Um, sorry. Let me get Toad Scroll off the layout. And. Oh no, we're not gonna survive a Dark Pulse. Oof. Does Battle Bond activate every time he gets a kill? 
if it does, then I'm about to throw. I could have swore I put plus one on this. Oh yeah, I did. Oh, man. I have it set up for choice spec, so I would have survived that. Dang it. Okay. Yep, that's all on me. I... Hmm. Dark Bolt comes out. Kills Colossal. And I just sacked Colossal for no reason. Okay, Battle Bond did not activate again. Cool. We're just gonna body press here. And hope that... Yeah, we take it. And it might just become a stack game at this point. Body and Beast Lover versus the world. He killed. It was. No! Are you kidding me? Oh my goodness, that crit mattered. I'm. Yeah, I can't come back from this. I should have just stayed in and went for it with Slover. Slover died to Greninja. I'm going to... Volt Switch here, I guess. Surf comes out. We might live a Surf. We don't live a Surf. Fantastic. Okay, yep, that's game. Oh my goodness. Gren kills Magnazone. Do we kill this thing with Dragapult? Dragapult can hit it with a Thunderbolt, but we're not gonna survive an Ice Beam. <sighs> this is rather unfortunate. Here comes the Thunderbolt. We don't live in Ice Beam here. Unless he thinks we're Scarf. But if we were Scarf, I would have come out to it earlier. I am so upset with myself right now. I should have looked at what Battle Bond did. Honestly. He didn't prep for it. He's thinking a while. He's gonna use Ice Beam. He's gonna kill us. Yep, that's game. I am. Oh, I'm so upset. No, I took Greninja off the way out. My bad, dude. That was disrespectful. That was a complete accident. And I'm gonna thunderous kick. I don't live in Ice Beam, so it doesn't matter. Yep. That's game, and I, that was awful. So, my boy Jeremy won 4-0. That was so unfortunate. Battle Bond Greninja got the best of me. Yeah, hopefully I bounce back next week. I don't even know who I'm playing at this point. Yeah. I'm rather upset with that. The crit on Slowbro certainly mattered. Um, based on my calculations, at least. But, yeah. We'll be seeing you guys. Thanks for staying around. That was an awful performance, but thanks for staying around. Peace.